Suck Stat Family. Told you we was coming back with another. We got JJ Reddy talks about Larry Bird. This is a live reaction. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that sub button, and comment below. Let get it. I already know it's live. It's legendary. Shout out to Big Bird. Shout out to y'all. I don't know, but we got to see what the hell uh, JJ Reddy talking about. There's foul play going on. Foul play going on, so we got to hear. Has JJ Reddick officially succumbed to the temptation of hot take sports media? No. Nope. Well, perhaps. Not too long ago, Reddick caused a stir by saying Larry Bird shouldn't be considered one of the greatest three point shooters of all time. What? He then foolishly said there's no difference in physicality between Bird's era and today's game. He doubled down on that statement a couple of days after. There's plenty of people that have shot more, made more, and guess what? Made more at a higher percentage than Larry Bird from three. I'm not saying Larry Bird is not one of the greatest shooters ever. He's not one of the greatest three-point shooters ever. Bird doesn't have the three-point numbers because that wasn't part of his game. It wasn't part of the NBA game back then. During the 1985-86 season, Bird led the league with 82 made three-pointers. He hit 82 of 194 shots from behind the arc, a 42.3% clip. During the 2015-16 season, Curry took 886 three-pointers, making 402. In the 80s, there were post-up centers, with most teams looking to get the ball inside. Right. Today, the game is a barrage of three-pointers. When Russo spoke about the differences in eras, Redick lost some points. He made a dumb comment by saying there was no difference in physicality between the 1980s and today. I, when, I, when I watch, let's say Steph Curry, for example. Right. When I watch Steph Curry off the ball in a playoff game. Oh, he's way Getting oh, grabbed and held by Marcus Smart. They're attached to him at all times. Right. Then when I watch Larry Bird come off a pin down and no one's within five feet of him and they're shooting the gap. You're telling me one is more physical than the other? Dominique Wilkins, who had some intense battles with Bird, had a tough time holding back when weighing in on Reddick's comments. First of all, Reddick don't know what the hell he's talking about. I, I'm going to say it. I agree. He don't know what the hell he's talking about. I'm like, what basketball was you watching? Oh, to no. say something as idiotic as that is ridiculous. The physicality that was a part of the league. Hey, look. When you can put your hand on a guy's hip and make him go a certain way, if you can put that elbow in his chest to slow him up, which we call slowing a guy up, how many guys can deal with that type of pressure? And for J.J. Reddick, who've played this game, I'm very disappointed that he has said something so stupid. Right. Wilkins didn't want to make it about his era. He just wanted to prove how foolish Reddick's take was. We had our time. It was a great time. It's their time now. Yes. But don't crap on us to prove your point. Right. Yeah. Because it doesn't make sense and it's not valid. I just don't like the disrespect. Yeah. Yeah. And to say that about Larry Bird, yeah. it was yeah. less, less physical. Is he back stupid? To back, yeah. back MVP. It's, it, it's, just a, it's just a stupid comment to make. I mean, it ain't got nothing to do with Steph Curry or Larry. Yeah. It's the content. Exactly. We just oh, broke down the, yeah. the it's, end it's, it's, result. It doesn't make sense. Counts. And he should know better than that. Yeah. To think today's NBA is more physical than the 1980s is flat out ludicrous. And Reddick should be called out for the foolish comments. J.J. Reddick knows basketball. He's played it at a high level for years, including 15 seasons in the NBA. But he seemingly has no clue about basketball in the 1980s. And Reddick specifically addressed the criticism he faced from Dominic Wilkins. Did disrespect Larry Bird? I questioned the narrative around physicality. I said, for every montage video you can show me of Larry Bird being in a headlock underneath the basket, I can show you a montage video of him shooting open jumpers, of him coming off pin downs. Yeah, I could show Steph the same way. I could show Steph getting held. I could show Larry getting held. It's like, it's all basketball. Though he was a fierce Celtics rival for the entirety of his career, Michael Cooper vehemently sided with Larry Bird in a recent debate over the famous Celtics' place in NBA history. Apparently, this touched a nerve with Cooper, who spent much of his career trying to stop Bird. Well, this is all I'm going to say. This J.J. Reddick, this kid here, you know, this kid here who's a journeyman, played for six different teams. All his accolades came in college. 
played 15 years in the NBA, was being shifted around from team to team because all he could do was shoot. And he wasn't that great of a shooter. He was a poor man, Danny Ainge. And today's NBA, I don't know what game he's looking at. It's, it, it, I, you can't touch the guy. Anytime you touch anybody, a three-point shooter, come close to them when they're landing, it's a foul. J.J. Reddick needs to be quiet and stop trying to compare. He later made his thoughts on Bird's place in history clear. Larry Bird was one of the greatest three-point shooters that's ever played this game. Percentages. It ain't right. about that. It's about hitting big shots. Things that he couldn't do as a player without getting a pick set for him. So, uh, you know, when people compare each generation, and I appreciate and love basketball. I enjoy each decade. You know, I have so much respect going all the way back to the 60s and watching Bob Cousy. Reminded that Reddick had also trash-talked Cousy's place in NBA history. The NBA analyst claimed in a 2022 discussion that Cousy was being guarded by plumbers and firemen. Cooper defended yet another Celtic. It, it's sad because um, you, you have to have respect from where this game comes from. All these guys in today's game, I'll say from maybe five years ago up until where it's going to go are living, playing, breathing off the shoulders of Bob Cousy, Will Chamberlain, Bob Pettit, players that came in. Then. Cooper even clarified that he was defending Bird even if he's not a fan. And you know what? I hate Larry Bird, but I respect the hell out of that man because I went against him in all those championships and during the year. I, I, all we did as the Lakers is thought about the Boston Celtics. Delivering his final thoughts on the subject, the 1986-1987 NBA Defensive Player of the Year had a withering take about Redick. Man, that guy has no clue of how basketball was played in the 80s, and I guarantee you this, J.J. Redick, if you had played in the 80s, this is Michael Cooper talking, I'd have locked your ass up. You wouldn't have got a shot off, you wouldn't have got nothing off, you had spent more time on the bench than on the floor. When I was on the floor, you couldn't have played when I was on the court. You know? The only reason to give Reddick a pass on this bird comment is because the three-point shot during the 1980s wasn't a big part of the game. For the Boston Celtics legend, it played a small role in his all-around game. Reddick could have said Bird isn't one of the best all-time dunkers in the NBA, and it would make just as much sense. And right. do you know why the three-point shot had little value in the 80s? Because players got physical by pounding the ball inside and posting each other up. In the 1980s, you had post-up centers constantly fighting for position in the paint. Today's centers, whatever is left of them, jack up three-point shots. There are no more Patrick Ewing slash Hakeem Olajuwon post-up battles in the paint. Nobody plays with their back to the basket. The three-point shot dominates. But that's just the way the game has evolved. It's a different game than it was 40 years ago. There's no denying those games of the past, however, were much more physical. Another reason why those 80s games were more physical is because there were rivalries. Heated rivalries. Boston Celtics versus Los Angeles Lakers. Boston Celtics versus Philadelphia 76ers. Boston Celtics versus Detroit Pistons. And Chicago Bulls versus Detroit Pistons were just a few of the major rivalries that dominated the 80s. Those teams truly hated each other. After those teams played, the players didn't hug each other like today. They despised each other and played hard. Sometimes they played too hard. We saw Boston's Kevin McHale clothesline Kurt Rambis on his way for a layup during the 1984 NBA Finals. Yeah. Robert Parrish pummeled Bill Lambeer with multiple punches during Game 5 of the 1987 Eastern Conference Finals. No technical foul was given in either instance. It's a part of 80s basketball. Bird may not be a top five three-point shooter of all time, despite winning all three of the three-point shooting contests he entered. He was a damn good three-point shooter. Reddick was really way off for the physicality part. Anyone who witnessed both eras will tell you Reddick is wrong on that front. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing NBA content. What the fuck is wrong with J.J. Reddick? You know better than that disrespecting Big Bird like that. This shit ain't even funny, man. It's not even funny. Like, that really done pissed me off. Disrespecting real legend that paid the way for you. You know why you shoot that three ball, too. You know why. Come on, now. You know who you see shooting it first. The baddest white man ever to shoot. You salute. You got to salute Big Bird. That's all you have to say all day. But you want to go and do the other thing. All you had to do was just give him his flowers up there. You know that guy, 
one of the greatest shooters of all time, man. Three point, mid range, whatever it is. About that playing like it's funny. It ain't funny. It's, that's not funny right there. We're not about to do that. It's a real legend out there. I'm talking about three time three point champion, three time MVP. In a row, all of them in a row now. It's not like. One one time, then the next year we lost, come back, then win the next year. No. One year after another. Three. <laughs> In a row. And then that's six times. Come on, man. Are you serious? Three MVPs in a row. Three NBA champions. Championship shootouts in a row. What? The dude didn't even shoot threes like that. So when he did shoot threes, imagine how many threes he did shoot by himself, though. Getting shots up. Mom, he paid away. And you out here playing. You see how Stephen A was looking at him when he was talking about it? That's how he knew what he was talking about was nonsense. Come on, man. Like, are you serious? You weren't even paying attention to what you just said. You disrespecting real legends out here. And like, it's funny, though. You don't be playing with. You don't play with stuff like that, man. You don't do that. You know, bird lay down or something. Now, when, when it's time to get a bucket, we need a bucket. Big bird, we need a we need a bucket to win. We down by two. Big bird shot a damn three to win it, man. Stop it. <laughs> Game on the line. Clutch player. The clutch. The clutch is shooting up. I promise you. I promise you, I'm talking about, did you forget it? He, he must have forgot the warm-up. He forgot he was shooting out there with his warm-ups, man. Dude was winning three-point contest in his warm-up. I'm done. Dude didn't even come out of suit. What? Dude is out here disrespecting real legends, though, like, you did that for likes. You had to. This ain't fun. And then he got out there, the nerve. He had the nerve to change his answer. Tomas I ain't disrespect Larry Bird. Yes, you did. How you didn't do it? That shit never came up. Come on, man. You just wanted to get boost ratings. You do it for likes and stuff. That's what you do it for. No. We call it how we see it now. You got to call it how you see it. You know, Big Bird, real legend. Not funny. You playing real legends' names and stuff, too. People don't put in work to pay the way for you. And you know why you shoot that three ball. You know why you shoot that three ball that dude. Come on, man. Stop it. You know who taught you how to shoot? Big Bird taught you how to shoot. If it weren't for Big Bird, you wouldn't have been out there shooting like that. I promise you. This guy wasn't just a shooter, though. All around. You heard what Cooper said? Boy, we would lock you. We would lock you up if I was out there. If you was in the 80s on my uh, <laughs> era. <laughs> Yeah, Cooper. That shit pissed Cooper off, man. I promise you, it pissed me off too, uh, Cooper. You know better than that playing real legends names. Not funny, man. You're not doing that over there, Big Bird. Real legend, not French lit legend. D legend in the other state. Paid away, came a long way from that dirt road. Real legend, Big Bird. We salute you, man. Bird family. Always salute. Thank y'all, Bird family. Thank y'all, Stat family, for watching the full video. We're going to be back with another video after this video. Make sure y'all stay prayed up. Y'all be safe. Y'all be good. You know it.